The sport of hockey has come a long way since its early days in 19th century Canada. From the rules to the rink, the game has evolved considerably over the years to get to where it is today. Let's take a look at some game-changing innovations in hockey. As crazy as it sounds, the game of hockey was played without any face protections for decades. This was a dangerous sport to play without protection, since hockey is a fast-paced and physical sport. Every player on the ice ran the risk of getting slashed and speared with sticks, or even getting hit in the face with a puck. Montreal Maroons' Clint Benedict became the first goaltender to wear a mask in an NHL game on February 20th, 1930. Montreal Canadiens goaltending great Jacques Plante became the first goaltender to use a mask on a regular basis in the NHL in November 1959. Safety became a great concern when the butt end of the hockey stick started causing eye injuries among players in the 1950s. Harry Dowdy of Walkerton, Ontario developed the Dowdy Safety Grip a piece of rubber two inches in length, which attached to the end of the stick. One of the game's all-time greats, Gordie Howe, was a keen supporter of the new piece of safety equipment. Later on, fiberglass blades were introduced to the stick. Composite sticks made their first appearance in the NHL in 1994 and have replaced wood as the standard material for making hockey sticks. Hockey Gloves in the beginning, leather gloves were worn less for protection and more for keeping the player warm from outdoor elements. After Montreal Maroon star Babe Siebert suffered a broken thumb, trainer Bill O'Brien put a shoehorn inside Siebert's glove to provide reinforcement and protection to his thumb. This clever invention was the impetus for the reinforced fiber thumb, which would become a staple on hockey gloves in the 1930s. Beginning in 1988, manufacturers started producing gloves with cuffs shorter than 2 inches. The so-called short cuff gloves, which cut off just past the wrist, players felt the smaller glove increased their ability to stick handle and shoot. The first modern versions of ice skates began appearing in the mid-1800s. Skate blades were still tied to the skater's shoes or boots until 1848 when a Pennsylvanian named E.V. Bushnell invented an all-metal blade that clamped directly to the boot by allowing sharper, faster turns and even jumps. As the rules of ice hockey became established by the 1800s, so did the need for sturdier skates. In 1914, the closed-toed blade, made from one piece of steel, was invented by John E. Strauss, a blade maker from St. Paul, Minnesota. Around 1961, CCM introduced the pro light skate with the Pro Guard, a hard plastic cover on the heel of the skate blade. Modern hockey skates are generally made of molded plastic, leather, nylon, or a thermoformed composite material. Thanks to the inventors and other creative minds of hockey, it is now a sport that can be enjoyed with much less risk of personal injury. Once again, thank you for tuning in to Innovation Station. Don't forget to like and subscribe.